Hey guys, it's Rebecca Brissett. So I ended up, I was gonna do a graphic 4th of July look. It is currently 3.57 a.m. right now when I'm recording this. Um, I did record just the face part of this that will go up first, um, and I'm not done with my face yet. So I had a few ideas that I wanted to try and do, and we'll see how that pans out. Um, and I have another idea that I wanna do that most likely will turn into part three. So um, yeah, this is 4th of July inspired. I did mention in the first part of this, I do have a Patreon. I don't really plug it. I don't know how those things work. I also use Venmo and Cash App. I will leave those things linked down below if you want to help me out financially at all to, you know, help me do maybe more graphic looks. These things take hours. I've been recording since about 2.30. So for about an hour and a half, I've been recording. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be dipping into singles. I don't know how this is going to work, but... It's always fun to experiment. And if I screw it up, I already have the video and the pictures of this look, so I'm good. I am from Florida. I am from the United States. I've never been out of country. I do not own a passport. I kind of wish I did. I would have probably moved out of this country years ago uh, when everything started to go to hell in a handbasket. Um, I do have Canadian relatives and ancestors, so I, already, I always wanted to go up there and travel. And of course, my grandfather was born in Germany and so I've always wanted to go there and of course I am 16% Irish so I would love to go to Ireland um, and Scotland and Wales and England um, because that's where a lot of my ancestry comes from is the UK and then France and Germany and Switzerland so I would love to travel the world but I do not own a passport um, don't even know if I can get one don't know what it takes to get one don't know how much they cost or any of that fun stuff and even if I had one I wouldn't have the money I guess I could zoom you guys in so you can see what the hell I'm doing. It costs a couple thousand dollars to travel overseas, and I don't have that kind of money. So anyways, um, this is look, the first part of it, it is a 4th of July inspired makeup look. Um, so hopefully you guys like that. I'm going to be getting into the second part of this, which will hopefully be more graphic. Um, I am going to continue with what I've got on my face and build from there. So hopefully you guys like this. If you do, please leave me a comment down below, throw a like on this video, and I don't usually ask for subscribers, so if you want to subscribe, then go right ahead. Um, if you don't, that's fine. About 80% of my audience is not a subscriber. It is what it is. So I will see you guys in just a second to do more makeup. I most likely will not talk through any of it. If I do talk through any of it, I will, I will be speeding these clips up. So um, if you, you know, if I say something or whatever, or talk about what technique I'm doing, um, I will leave it in the video as well. Really, really love her. How you know? That's how you know me, sugar. That's how you know. That's how you know.
I used lash glue on it and then I put loose glitter over it by picking it up with my finger. And then I just pressed over what was wet. I am just brushing off any extra glitter that is not stuck to something. I don't mind glitter, but... Okay, now the next part of this, I'm gonna be using a blue. This is a, um, from my liquid lips line, this is a kind of a lip stain that it doesn't dry down matte, uh, matte. it stays shiny. I'm gonna put this in the center of my lips. I'm gonna grab a lip brush and pick up product on that and spread it out a little bit better. And this is a metallic blue. The red is a matte. You know, I think with the matte underneath, it might stay matte. We'll have to see. Because the Stila one doesn't usually transfer, but my liquid lips does. And it has peppermint oil in it, so it, it stays like minty feeling on the lips. So give me a second and I will zoom you guys in. I'm trying to keep all my dirty brushes move. That way you guys can see what it looks like. It went out a little too high over here, but that's okay. And these are supposed to be fireworks. And my battery's almost dead. Okay guys, so this is the finished part for part two. I did three different sets of fireworks on my face. I ombre my lip. I went a little too far out on the blue on the top lip, but I can easily fix that if I really want to. Um, I added two more stars to either side and then I put glitter over them by using my little kiss, my kiss lash adhesive to put like a sticky base down. And then this is one of the true color stacks that I have and I've had these for like ever, um, but I mean, it's glitter. So I used the red, the silver, and then the iridescent one is what I put over my eyebrows. So I used the red on the red and then half of the red in the center. And then I use the like silver on the blue parts because I don't have a blue glitter that's like the right shade of blue. I have like, it's like aquamarine color and I have another aquamarine color, but those are the only two blues that I own. So I used what I had. Anyway, so this is the finished look for part two. I will be taking picture and video with my phone as well as pictures with my good camera. My battery is about to die. And then I will get into part three, which I, which is one reason why I have a tube top on. I don't own very many tube tops. Uh, I don't really care for them. I hate the way it makes me look. It like flattens the top of my boobs down and then makes the rest of it like look, I, I look bottom heavy with it. Um, so I don't like what it does shape wise to my chest, but it is what it is. I am not busty by any means. So anyways, this is part two finished. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, and basically the fireworks was a mix of eyeshadow and eyeliner with some glitter thrown on top. And if you look, I've got just a little bit of glitter under my eyes, but for the most part, all the glitter that I put on my, from my eyes up is on where I stuck it. I went back over and made sure I've got like one stubborn piece of glitter in. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> um, I went back over with my powder brush, which I probably ought to wash now that it probably has a bazillion pieces of glitter in it. Um, but this is what I use to just kind of dust off. This is a ferro brush to de-glitter um, for those that hate glitter or whatever. I think I've got one on the side of my nose, but that's okay. It's right there by the firework. So I did kind of like a silver, red, and blue firework in the center. I did more of a blue themed one over the blue eyebrow and the red themed one over the red eyebrow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed part two. And I'm going to um, take a few minutes break. I have been, to, let's see, what time is it? 4.30. I'm gonna get another cup of coffee and um, I'll probably record part three after that. So yeah, 
This is gonna be a long night. I've been recording for a couple of hours now. The battery's dying, and so I better take pictures before it's completely dead, and I need a break anyways. This stool hurts my butt. So I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a great day or night, wherever you are. Bye.